Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a crucial question in the world of microservices. How do we ensure data consistency across multiple services without compromising their independence? Our viewer is curious about the design choices available in a distributed architecture, especially when shared databases are off the table. They understand that microservices can publish events to keep each other updated, but this approach can lead to complex coordination. So can frameworks like Akka help solve this challenge? Let's dive in. Okay, we're back with another tech video. Now I'm gonna go through your question, answer it, and hopefully you get the solution. Now remember to say just a little bit crazy like me and you'll get there to that resolution. All right, let's continue on to the video. In a microservices architecture, maintaining data consistency across services can be challenging. Let's explore some design choices that can help achieve this. One common approach is to use an event-driven architecture. When a microservice creates, updates, or deletes an entity, it publishes an event to a message broker. Other interested microservices can subscribe to these events and update their own databases accordingly. This allows for eventual consistency without sharing a database. However, this approach requires careful coordination and programming effort. Frameworks like Akka can help manage this complexity by providing tools for building reactive systems. In conclusion, while there are frameworks available, the choice of design should align with your specific use case. Event-driven architectures and tools like Akka can significantly aid in achieving data consistency. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. Managing data consistency across microservices can be challenging. Instead of having services call each other directly, which increases response time and coupling, we use a Kafka message bus to communicate state changes. We implement a tolerant reader pattern to minimize coupling. However, services may still need past data that is no longer available on the bus. To address this, we separate each service into a core web service and a connector service. The connector listens for bus messages and fetches necessary data when needed. If a consistency error occurs, the connector retrieves the required data from upstream services and injects it into the main service. This approach avoids batch jobs and focuses on fetching only what's necessary. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To ensure data consistency across microservices, you can approach it from two angles, service collaboration and data modeling. For service collaboration, you can choose between orchestration and choreography. Choreography involves each service handling its own messaging, while orchestration uses a central orchestrator to manage data updates.
Using orchestration allows you to switch between eventual and strong consistency without modifying downstream services. On the other hand, data modeling can be redesigned by extracting consistent entities into a dedicated relationship microservice, reducing coupling. This approach allows for a more generic way to manage relationships between services. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. When it comes to data consistency across microservices, two main forces are at play decoupling and consistency requirements. Decoupling is essential for microservices, promoting a shared nothing approach to data persistence. If you're okay with eventual consistency, that's a good start. To manage data consistency, the upstream service emits events to a message bus. It's important to choose a wire format like Protobuf or Avro to avoid tight coupling between producers and consumers. This allows for evolving the event model without breaking downstream services. Downstream services subscribe to these events, and the message bus must ensure fault tolerance. If network failures occur, you might choose to refuse requests that rely on stale data, prioritizing eventual consistency over availability. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To maintain data consistency across microservices, avoid data duplication by updating linked entities in their respective databases. Using events for updates can lead to cache consistency issues. Keep local databases separate and use pull semantics. Make RPC calls for data retrieval and be ready to handle errors like timeouts or service unavailability. While this approach may impact performance, it allows you to make informed trade-offs. Consider scaling data services, using local caches, or implementing distributed caches. Using local caches can introduce eventual consistency, but significantly improve performance. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. Let's talk about managing data access between modules in microservices. A module is a self-contained piece of software that can be deployed alone or with others. It's crucial to define modules carefully to avoid complex data access issues. When deciding on data reads, if two services depend on each other, the approach varies based on whether they are in the same module or different modules. For simple reads, use direct database access, while complex reads may require data copying or event buses. For data writes, if services are in a monolith, use direct database writes. In microservices, simple writes should use HTTP clients, while complex writes may need event bus producers for better management. Remember, complex data reads involve batch processing and transaction management, while complex writes can be I.O., CPU, or network intensive. Make informed decisions to maintain data consistency across your microservices. And that's it guys, we've gone through the solutions and I'm hoping that it resolved your issue. 
If it did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.